Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video we'll show you how to use the Ordinary Alpha Butin 2% plus Hyaluronic Acid. Alpha Butin can be effective in helping fade hyperpigmentation such as dark spots after breakouts and it may also be useful for age spots and sunspots. It is also supported by Hyaluronic Acid which adds long-lasting hydration to the skin. Now this is a water-based serum and the texture is gel-like, slightly thick, similar to a hyaluronic acid serum. But it absorbs quickly into the skin without leaving a residue and that makes it suitable for all skin types. Additionally, it is free from fragrances, alcohol and silicones, making it less likely to cause irritation, especially for those with sensitive skin. When it comes to the frequency, it can technically be used daily in the morning and or evening. But of course, this also depends on your personal skin tolerance and preference, which is highly individual. And therefore, I recommend adjusting it to your needs. Now, there is some concern about the long-term usage, as alpha butin is considered a milder and safer alternative to hydroquinone, which is not a very potent brightening ingredient. So hydroquinone and alpha butin are related in terms of their chemical structure and their function as brightening agents. And the thing here is that there is some concern about the long-term usage of hydroquinone and it may have some serious side effects. Therefore, it should only be used under the guidance of a doctor. However, when it comes to alpha butin, there's lack of research, especially on its long-term usage in skincare products. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's unsafe, but it also highlights the importance of using it with caution. So my advice would be to use it for shorter durations. So for a few weeks to a few months until you see the de desired improvements. And if you haven't seen any great results by then, it's probably best visiting a doctor in your local area and ask for advice. So now that we have covered that specific topic, let's move on to how you can include it in a skincare routine and what else is important to know when using it. Generally speaking, the Ordinary Alpha Butin does not have any major conflicts with other skincare products, which means that you can use it along any other skincare products that the Ordinary offers. So let's look at this. For the morning routine, I have set up a routine that targets eye aging, hyperpigmentation and or fine lines and wrinkles, and of course, sun protection. You begin by cleansing your face with your favorite cleanser. Pat dry, then you can include one of the Ordinary Eye Serums, if that is one of your concerns. If not, skip it. Next, you layer the Ordinary Alpha Butin with Hyaluronic Acid on top. And then I provided a few options, which I think could be a great addition to use along with it, especially the Niacinamide and Ascorbic Glucoside Serum, which is a Vitamin C Serum, to further help support the fading of your hyperpigmentation. Or you could use one of the Ordinary Peptide Serums if you're more looking into reducing wrinkles and fine lines. And lastly, most importantly, the sunscreen. I mean, there's no way around using sunscreen when outdoors as you're trying to fade hyperpigmentation with alpha butin. So good sunscreen habits need to be practiced as otherwise it's really just useless and you have to start all over again. So sunscreen when exposed to the sun for prolonged periods is a must here. And I have included two weight options, which I really like, both are mineral based. And the first one is by Niot, the Survival 20 or 30, which has also a natural tint. And the other one is by Good Molecules, which has a slight white cast, but it still is a fantastic choice when it comes to the ingredients and filters used. For the evening routine, I have two examples with one little conflict with exfoliating acids, which I want to make you aware of. So for this routine, you wash your face with your favorite non-exfoliating acid cleanser. Remember to adjust it to your needs. So for makeup and sunscreen removal, the squalene cleanser. For regular impurities, excess oil, dirt and sweat, one of the water-based cleansers that target your specific skin type. Then pat the skin dry. Then choose your favorite exfoliant. After that, this is where I recommend waiting a bit so that the exfoliant can work and absorb properly. And then head into your Alpha Butin Serum. So it's not really a conflict, just something that I recommend doing for best results. And then you can add an additional moisturizer if needed. For the second evening routine, I've included a retinol and retinoid product. Why? Well, because this is what you guys most often ask, and it can be a great addition if you're battling hyperpigmentation, as the retinol and retinoid can also help in the fading process, mostly because of its ability to increase skin cell turnover and renew the skin cells. So making new healthy skin cells rise faster to our skin surface, which then improves the overall skin tone and texture with consistent use. Now remember, the slides you just saw are including more information about retinol and retinoids, sunscreen use and much more can be downloaded in the description box below this video. 
But now let's get into the demonstration of the evening skincare routine with retinol as this is the routine most of you likely want to follow. For this I'm using the Ordinary Glucoside Firming Cleanser to remove excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin so that the skincare products can absorb effectively. And remember before you use the cleanser to properly wash your hands to avoid the transfer of bacteria and other impurities to the skin. So let's do this. Use clean water to wet your hands. Then apply soap and scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. Rinse off the soap thoroughly with clean water. Finally, take a clean towel and pat dry. Then wet your face with warm water. Next, dispense a small amount of the cleanser onto the palm of your hand or fingers. Rub it between your hands. Then apply it evenly over your face and neck and massage for about 15 to 30 seconds. Rinse well with warm water. If you're at the sink, you can use a soft, clean microfiber washcloth as a helper. Wet the washcloth, squeeze it out so that it's damp, then swipe it all over the face to help remove any remaining impurities. If you've used the washcloth, then rinse again several times. Lastly, pat the skin dry with a clean towel. And now our skin is ready for the Ordinary Alpha Butin 2% Plus Hyaluronic Acid. You can apply it all over your face and neck or only to the areas of concern. And I will show you both methods, so choose the method that fits the most. Method 1. Dispense about 3-5 to five drops of the Alpha Butin Serum onto your palm or fingertips. Rub both hands together to blend, then apply it evenly over the entire face, avoiding the eyelids and lips. You can include the neck if desired. Alternatively, you can apply it only to specific areas of your face or neck, where you may be battling hyperpigmentation, such as your forehead, cheeks or chin. Method 2. Dispense a couple of drops into the palm of your hand. Dip your fingers into it. Then apply it to the area of concern. In my case, it's the forehead and my chin. In both methods, you leave the serum on the skin, you do not need to wash it off. Now it's time for your retinol serum. And in this example, I'm using the ordinary retinol 0.2% in scoreline, which I will layer on top of alpha butyl. To use the retinol serum, dispense about 3 to 5 drops onto the palm of your hand or fingertips. Rub them together to distribute the serum. Then apply it over your face, avoiding the eyelids, corners of the eyes and lips. You can blend it down towards the neck, if desired. And then leave it on the skin and do not wash it off. You could stop here and there's no need to follow with an additional moisturizer afterwards, especially when using the ordinary retinols or retinoids in squalane. So the Alpha Butin Serum already added hydration to the skin and the retinol in squalane sealed it in. However, if you still feel the need to follow with an additional moisturizer, you can go ahead and do so. And in this case, the ordinary natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid could be a good match. To use the moisturizer, dispense a pea to a bean sized amount onto your fingertips. Rub the fingertips of both hands together. Then massage it all over your face and neck, or only onto desired areas. And in my case, it would be my cheeks and chin. Leave it on the skin and do not wash it off. And this is essentially it. This could be a great evening skin care routine that can help you to fade certain types of hyperpigmentation, so it's worth a try. And remember, in being consistent. And that's what I want to share with you. Thanks so much for watching and happy skin caring.